Welcome back everyone to another episode of Minecraft Bedrock and while, while I was away I did quite a lot of terraforming. Uh, I managed to get all this, I probably end up getting used at some point. I also chopped down some wood for the wall. I didn't get too much, uh, I think I burnt through like three axes. I got these. But I think right now I'm going to take this building down, also get rid of him. Thinking about relocating this building over there because it's where that big mound of dirt was. And bring the path this way because I think that to get up there it might be easier to build a path going up this way rather than the sharp steep ends over there because terraforming an actual path I want to try and use as few half slabs as possible because villagers pathfinding is just terrible most of the pathfinders so I think actually I think I'll build the wall first because then that gets rid of this wood and then I'll probably move on to that building I mean obviously I'm going to sleep right now because I don't want to be bothered and I'm pretty sure I don't have enough wood still because I want this like five or six blocks tall like all the way around I can't even remember where we got to last time so I guess I'm just gonna walk around the edge nope, not that way this way I think this is as far as I got. So I'm just gonna keep placing blocks. I mean obviously there's a lot of terraforming to do around the village still. I'm just gonna place these like that for now, chop down the tree again. I'll chop down the tree at some point. I just wanna get this wall up and going because then I can light up the entire inside of the village as long as it's two blocks tall all the way around and there's no jump spots zombies and stuff shouldn't bother me after this they don't really bother me now but it's the villagers I'm worried about that's one stack gone already It took me like an hour of chopping all this wood down. I know this episode's out a bit late. I've been playing a bit of Dishonored 2 if you've not noticed on my channel. You should check it out if you've got the time. It's quite a good game and I die a few times. It's always funny to see someone die in a game. So this one's got to go that high because of that block there. Same with this one. And I'm just slowly killing myself. That one doesn't have to go as high. So, eventually, I will come back and remodel some of this wall. Maybe just put a few bumps in it and slabs and stairs. I think the entire top's got to have slabs on it or carpets or something to stop spawns. Oh, we might actually get the whole wall done. I'll just burn through the wood afterwards and top everything up. It's all I can only make it safer. just using as little as possible right now just to get around so I think I brought no I didn't no, no that's good so I was going to do an arch for this gate but I'm not too sure 
I reckon I'm just going to go back now. Oh, I had to run out. It's on a good streak then. I don't want it to look too tall as well, like where it's towering some of the buildings. I mean, I know in some places it's going to have to be, unless I terraform. One step at a time, then get this done first. Then probably pull up most of the path because it's just all in the wrong place. Then wait for it all to grow. I'll do that off camera, obviously. How much we got left? Oh, we got plenty. I actually think we're going to get it all done. Uh, just break through these leaves. See, look at how low this end is now. Break that. I don't think mobs spawn on top of trees and stuff. Hopefully, it all goes well and we don't get no zombies in here once it's lit up. He's obviously after that villager that's trapped inside this, I believe. That cow scared me. I want to be able to walk around the whole wall as well. So I'm like making like a steady staircase. still don't know what we're going to do about the underneath of this overhang. I also need to sort that a little bit out there. So this comes out here. Just let me eat. So this wall is here, and then it comes out one, basically around the entire edge by the looks of it, and one there, and then this entire section here. I know there's bits of dirt in there, I'll sort those out. I don't know if it looks better like this or supported with stone. Oops. I'll take these out and see what happens. He can't get to me, that's good. this one too. See if I can make that jump, so can the zombies. That's a shovel. So if I place that, obviously there's no way I can make a somewhat staircase going around this bit. That one's not meant to be there either. I don't think. Oh, it is. Yeah, this one is supposed to be here.
So just build it up now. I have to place one there so that I can get up around this. That music is quite loud. If it's too loud, just let me know. I'll turn it down for the next video. I'll bring this up a little bit around the edge. I'm hoping that the village is so safe eventually that if a raid does happen that no one's going to die that could be brilliant that could do with being brought up better words how much wood we got left it takes like two whole stacks to get around the entire wall just putting a bit more of a bump in it now to make it look uneven and then maybe this section here just bring this up It is a really wide gate. So I guess I'm going to chop down that house now. I'll put this away because then I know how much spruce is used on that house. I'm going to put it all away. Uh, I'll sleep in this bed. I think that'll be alright. And obviously there isn't one here. Quick, 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 quick. The zombies will be spawning soon. I'll obviously move this planter to two and remodel it because I don't think pumpkins being grown makes sense. So this is going to be a bit of a complicated house to build. Just trying to see if there's another one before I take it down. And that's cool. <laughs> Sheep stuck in there. Oh, there's one here. So if I start with the the dirt and then the cobble, at least I know where the front door is going to be. I don't know how long they stick around for, but he's been here since this world was generated. So take this and these. So if I build this house over here, I can have like a little planter at the bottom of this hill. So I don't need the water right now. So if I go one, two, three, four, there, there. Then we got the door. Is that too close to the wall? Yeah, I think it is. I'll bring it in too. So, one, two, three, four. This one, space, this one. And then these. So 
So that's those. Place these back down. I think it's just cobble and logs now. Oh, we got the door as well. So it's literally. Three high stone and then wood next to it. So I'm going to take these down and just go and put them on the side of that building that I'm currently building just so that I know where I'm going. I could shave some of these logs on the wall as well just to give it a bit more of a different colour because right now it's just all dark. So was it from this block or this one? I need to check now. Can't believe I forgot that soon. So this building, yeah, it's from that block onwards. So the building is no wider in stone. It's the logs that make it wider. I could probably build a little pen for the animals soon as well. So, I'm sure it was wider than that. It'd be six. No, yeah, it's six. I'm just going to pop in a mossy there. Because these logs, they go like that. And then it should have one overhanging either side here. The walls details, like the fine details and stuff, I'm going to do that last because that's just, just one of those things that I'm going to keep chipping away at because it's going to be so long and I'm picky of how it might look. I didn't realise there was blocks on the ceiling. door and the trap door. I'm literally just going to place it layer by layer. At least then I can't forget. So if I... was it a cobble floor? I know there was one above the door. So I'll just place this there. So this one must be for above the window. Right there. So I can place this like that. Then like that. Don't want to fall off. Did I forget to chop some wood down? I probably left some hanging. I know I've got the trap door still. Oh, 
Yeah, there they are, look. So, it's just a... Wait, no. I've done it wrong, I think. Can I jump it? Yep. So there is no window here. Well, that's done properly. Uh, it's a mossy. Put that there. Now there's a window. I feel confident enough I can just take the whole thing down now. But it's pretty basic. So, it's five more blocks outwards. I think I'll just fill the chest with random stuff or just use it as like storage for the farm that's going to be next to it I'll find something to put in it because I don't like to waste the space and it's only going to be me looking in the chest so why not I'll take the chest and the trap doors. And my pick's gonna break. There we go. Where's the nearest crafting table? It's here. So I don't know if I should take this one or not, unless we have a jobless villager, which I did lose some when the zombies attacked the village in the first episode I think, or the second. So I don't think I'll actually need it. Oh, the cobble. Move quick time. Come on. So, if there's any other games anyone wants me to play, just let me know with a comment or whatever. I'll think about playing it because I mean, I play almost anything. Not a big fan of driving games, and there's not much content in a driving game, honestly. I mean, there is YouTube channels out there that do driving games, but that's not really me. Oh, great, things have spawned. Yep, there's a zombie there. Get out of here. So I'm going to build this house and then probably going to end the episode. So, five blocks one, two, three, four, five. Let's just throw some mossy in here somehow. I'd rather the mossy be on the floor. Although some on the walls probably wouldn't hurt. Maybe one here. Window. There. So that's a window. Is there any windows on the front? I 
I guess we can take a look. I think there is. Yep, there's one window in the front. Two windows in the back. So I should have two spare cobble for the... I want to say chandelier, but it's not. It's just two blocks and some torches. So one there, one there. I'm just going to use these to get up. So there. Like that. Do one more down here. So that was a creeper then. I need that. I honestly can't remember how this building goes, roof wise. So this is three wide, and obviously there's that building in the way over there, so I can't see, I'm going to have to take another look. This video is a bit longer, but I can't leave it unfinished. See why am I missing some cobble? I only have two left. Unless I left some behind. I'll take a quick look. No, there's none left behind. I don't know. I mean, I've got some here. That's fine. Strange. Why do I feel like this building is off center? What did I do wrong here? Oh, I see it now. So it's meant to go here, and then this is meant to come this way. I don't know what I'm going to do about stopping the roofs from things spawning maybe brown carpet I'll have to get some sheep hopefully I can find a brown one because I don't think I can get cocoa beans right now so like this Hoping my axe lasts. Yep, 
Yep, it lost it. So is there any inside? Nope. Outside? Yep, I'll grab all this. I need to just take one block off the side. I'll put a block down first. So that, and then there we go, done. I'm not going to put the chandelier thing in the ceiling, I don't like the look of it. For now I'll put a torch, and then I will place some of those lantern things up there. I've got some more of these for the windows. I obviously need to make some glass for the windows too. Uh, this should be like this. Yep, there we go. And then one more. Nope. So like this. Like this. There we go, done. Oh, and the chest. And the door, and then it's done. Nope, one last thing the cauldrons. And I'll even put some water in one. And this one. Done. I'm going to put this there, and this there. There we go, it's done. So, uh, I guess we'll work on definitely the planter. And I might cut down that one off camera, that thing over there, that shelter. But uh, until next time, thanks for watching.